Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJSecurities and BarnumLove.com. Welcome to Video Cast 4. This week we did lots of things. I showed Miss Karen she came out to the farm again and visited. We and she brought her son Tim. We were showing them how to uh how you put a lamb in position to shear them. Hank got some attention too. And they liked to pet the alpacas and how soft they were and it was really fun for Tim. He had never pet an alpaca before. Miss Karen had to pet them all again because she's addicted to them. So we, she had fun with it, and everybody else did too, including me, Mom, and Dad, and Hank. The sheep got a lot of attention too. Charlie got some attention right along right with Juno. And everybody was saying how soft Charlie was over Juno. But I still think Juno's better, or softer. They said Charlie's softer, but... Tim figured out how tall the shed was. He's a little bit taller than everybody else, so he hit his head. He was laughing about it, though, which was pretty good. Charlie took in all the attention very well, and so did Juno. Everybody fed the goats, and I had to keep Grover from jumping up on everybody, which he didn't like me after that. But everybody got to eat, including the belly goat, Grover, Jazzy, Camille, Dimples, Waldorf, and everybody else so Grover was having a ball trying to jump at everything and Tim and Karen had fun trying to feed everything and watch them fuss over them and the Billy and Camille kind of stepped back for a while and then they'd go in there and eat and Jazzy Dimples and Grover just stood at everybody trying to eat so you can stand over top of Grover and he won't do anything Angel got a lot of attention right along with everybody else, which was really fun for Angel because she got to have a midday snack too because everybody else was getting feed and she wanted to know how come she couldn't get any. She didn't like us rearranging on her jacket. Everybody wanted to pet the pheasant, but and nobody wanted to pet the pheasant. Everybody just wanted to see him up close. I guess they were scared they were going to hurt him. Even the eagles come over to see what was going on. You couldn't see them very well in that clip. But then we took, and the next day we took the pheasant out to Papa's house. He has a dog pen with a wire top on it, and he really likes to have like a turkey or something to play with, or actually just have around. But he needs something that if he forgets to go down there and feed it, it's okay and it can make do without. He has a metal plate in his head from a brain infection, which just makes him to forget sometimes. We had to get onto the dog because she wanted to eat the pheasant. And Papa thought when we first came, he said he thought that's what they were for was eating. And I told him no. They're for him to have to play with and stuff. So he liked that. We fed him, watered him, and then turned him loose, which was really good for them. They got out and they ate some lunch. And we ate lunch with Papa while the pheasant had some lunch with them. We had sandwiches that we bought at uh, the children's store, and they were good. We um, turned the pheasant loose, and they went to flying around and hiding in the brush. And one of them even got back behind the little shelters, uh, little metal shelters he has out there. And we had to go back there and try to get her out, which she didn't like me too well after that. But we had to tell the dog Sassy to not try to chase them because she saw them go to flying around she thought it was lunch time too but she had already ate her dog food for the day but the male is really pretty you can see him you can pick him out because he's got the red on his face and the females don't have as much and they blend right in I guess that's so coyotes and stuff can't get them very easily but mom researched pheasant and found that they're one of the most sneakiest birds around they can trick coyotes into getting things into thinking they're up in a tree when they're really not and they just fly off out the back or climb down or and fly down and walk off and they think they're still up in the tree but they're really funny to watch because they were trying to get out and then once they figured out they were trapped in they just went to eating and getting drinks and milling around Mom got mad at me because I kept, every time she'd step one way, I'd go right out in front of the camera. So I had to get out because she was getting mad because 
I'd step in front of her, she'd go one way, I'd go right the same way. But I thought it was funny. The pheasant really liked the little metal tin sheds because they could get up under there but not feel really crowded. So, Sassy still thinks that they're a lunch. We still tell her, no, they're not. But the male, you can see him while the females are harder to see. They're really cool to watch, though, because they're really nice. I gave Papa a hug and for payment for the... He said that was payment for the pheasant, so... Seeing the pictures of an angel that Mom popped in, and how she was when we got her, and how she was when we first got her, then when we brought her home from the cell barn, and then the video of us revealing her today, you can tell she's a lot better. She was a happier, more filled out horse. You can't count every rib on her. She's really gentle. You don't even have to tie her up anymore. You just kind of drop the leader up there and she stands there. Putting the blanket back on her tonight, she didn't like us too much. We had to actually try to catch her instead of her just walking up. But she's softer. She's got her hair is soft because it hasn't grown much. So. She's really kind of soft up by her neck where she's got her woolly coat on. She's slick where the jacket was because it's kept her warm. But up on her neck, you can see where the jacket's rubbed and uh, where the line is where the jacket stopped because she growed in long hair, which I thought was neat. But you can't see her spine and her weather, her withers right there, which is the part where the mane goes down to the back. You can't see that as much as you could earlier. Her hooves are starting to grow, her mane is starting to grow, and her tail is too. Her abscess looks really good, and we hope it's going to trim out. She even walks around a lot more now. She'll trot and run and stuff and play with the other horses. And Ice didn't know what to think with her, because he thought she was a different horse. And She's like, no, I just took my jacket off. Dad was really amazed with uh, how she actually looked. He thought she'd look worse under the jacket, but... I thought she'd look a little bit better, but guess I had a little high hopes. She'd come a long way, and she didn't. She liked all the attention, so she didn't want to move for us. So we had to get her out away from the pins and away from Dad loving on her before she'd go off. And Ice wasn't for sure about her. He thought she was a different horse, and she was not very happy with him. She was a little suspicious of why. He was suspicious of why she didn't have her blue jacket on. and So he was following her around and she didn't like it. And Coop's just standing back there like, hey, where are you guys going? But there they go to fussing. Which it's good to see Angel jumping around though. Coop's like, got any feed for me? She's walking off and Ice and Angel are trotting around and which mom had me go see if I could get him to quit and then Angel come up to me and then Ice is like let's go play so they take off running and bucking and kicking Angel was kicking at the kids which wasn't a very good girl but it's glad to see her that she can actually kick and buck and play and Ice is just out there playing around with her and the kids were like save me they're coming back to us and from far away us we think that Angel still has a jacket on but Coop's like don't leave me behind in Oklahoma you work with the wind or against the wind today we use the wind to help us bucket ashes into some holes in some horse stalls so that way uh, it would decompose down in the spring and we'd have rich grass it's the hay pile that we burnt off that the goats are in the goats are in the pen now but we burn off the hay because everything was getting into it there's a pile after we cleaned it off. Dad helped me switch all the minerals around so everybody has the right minerals. The goats have the mineral with the copper in it and the sheep have non-mineral. The next task we did was we cleaned the show pen. Everything was nice and clean. Mom's one birthing pen turned into two because we used the walls and sides of it to make it nice and big. It is two pins, not one. In other news, I have rodeos. I got second in the team open in my rodeo in Miami Sunday. I had lots of fun. Got wrote my breakaway kiff. Too slow to win any money. And I didn't wrote my tight end kiff. In 4-H news, I got some new chickens, which are Old English Ginger Reds. And you see the pheasant earlier in the video I got for Papa. 
I got a new magazine called Backyard Poultry. I read it and I find lots of interesting stories. Dad and Mom look at it too. In school, I stubbed my two C's, math and science, working hard on them. Any ideas on helping me with them would be great. Fiber update. I just had. I just have to say that we got the alpacas. That's all we've added for the fiber. For entertainment, Duke and Macy have been catching lots of mice. Macy even brought one mice mouse still alive into Mom's bed at 4 a.m. Needless to say, she was not very happy. Duke caught one and. Mom made me pick him up, carry him outside, and shake him until he let go of it. And then she did it again with another mouse he caught. She does not like mice. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.